Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, another video of uh, SUV. This is iPhone Bloke, your friend, philosopher and guide who helps you define the best possible quality product. Right, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about three specific SUVs which you should not buy in 2020. And uh, I really do not mean to harm uh, anybody's choice or anybody's, uh, you, know, you know, love for this particular brand because these three are wonderful brand. But then keeping in mind my own explanation, analysis, observation, market, sales and review, and most importantly, the reviews from people, those who use these products, I have made a video and I just wanted to make sure that you all should not for these three SUVs which are there in market especially in 2020 so let's get started my first SUV is from the house of Honda Honda WRV boy oh boy if you really want to avoid the worst possible SUV in subcompact SUV segment please for God's sake do not ever go and buy Honda WRV it's one of the most I would say irritating you know SUVs in the history of SUVs and of course one of the most uh, tarnished image in the grand image of Honda as motor manufacturers it is not good driving dynamics is pathetic engine is good but the feel the finish the looks the design the maintenance uh, the fun factor you would really say sorry if you happen to buy this so please do not ever go for honda wrv in fact if you, even if there's somebody who gives you two hundred thousand off on this particular vehicle honda wrv is one of those worst products ever in the suv department number two nissan kicks you know, this is quite surprising when I say this because uh, and I'm talking about Japanese motors. Japanese motors making companies are great companies. And they are fantastic, you know, organization altogether when it comes to manufacturing SUVs and cars and blah, blah, blah. But Nissan Kicks uh, has indeed not lived up to the expectation of Nissan Motors. Uh, bad bad construction the way it has been manufactured uh, overall the design is kind of mixed look the front design is typical Nissan which is okay yeah uh, and somewhat good you know smart features you have in this particular vehicle but then overall if I go with the reviews most importantly people those who have used this product they have given 99 or 100 percent bad reviews one of the reviewers have also commented and stated that you know what why did i end up buying nissan kicks it comes around uh, the top models close to 16 lakhs and trust me it is not at all a product where you should invest your hard earned money so that's number two number three which is the most surprising name i'm going to open up and talk about and i'll tell you the reason why uh, I want to talk about Tata Nexon. You know, it is one of the safest cars in India. Uh, one of the most, uh, let's say, uh, affordable cars in the category of SUV, compact SUV. Of course, it has a wonderful build of Tata, so there are no questions about security and safety. But then, do you really buy SUV just for the sake of security and safety and not for fun? Do you buy an SUV just because it is just an SUV? No. You buy an SUV because of its striving pleasure. You buy an SUV because of its overall macho looks. You buy an SUV because it has the best mileage for you in the market. And trust me, in all these segments, the refinement level of Tata Nexon, uh, the looks from the back is absolutely weirdo. Just a bit like, you know, a Mahindra XUV 300 if I see it from the back. The overall uh, finish uh, within the uh, Tata Nexon, the, the touch screen is, is, is not even worth talking about it. The overall feel factor of the car when you drive in the city is somewhat of great, uh, you know, 
disappointment so i would never want any of my subscribers or viewers whosoever is watching this video i am warning you guys do not ever buy wrv tata nexon can be considered if you someone who has a decent budget and somebody who is not let's say a really fond of driving dynamics but nissan kicks i'm absolutely sorry for that i would never recommend anyone even this particular car even if they give you for no price whatsoever in the suv market well with this note uh, i would like to sign off and not before i say thank you so much for being such a loyal subscriber customers individuals who have been contacted to me and yes i should mention this uh, if you like our channel uh, if you like our views if you like our reviews please connect uh, with us on instagram and twitter wherein i'm really active and answering any of your question answer would be a cakewalk well till next time thanks for watching